Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Harmony. Today is Vlogmas Day 5. I've never done a video like this on my channel, so in today's video, we are going to be doing a clean with me. It is going to be a voiceover. My boyfriend and I are going to be cleaning our house. There's just something about starting your week with a clean house that just feels so good and makes you feel just so like accomplished, you know? Before we jump into the video, I just wanna quickly say thank you to everybody who has left me sweet comments or sent me sweet messages on Instagram. I truly, truly appreciate it. I apologize for those of you who get triggered by videos of me being sad or crying or whatever. I just wanna really share how I'm feeling and be honest with you guys. Yeah. I just got a comment right now telling me to get over it. Apparently a month is too long to be sad over losing a baby, so my bad. For those of you who leave me nice comments and are supportive of me and just showing me so much love, I truly, truly appreciate you. Okay, I just had to say that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, this is my first time, so I don't know exactly how this is gonna work or how I'm gonna do it. But yeah, we're going to be cleaning our house and I'm really, really excited so before I do that I'm going to shower and just get in comfy clothes so that we can really get into a groove I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to cleaning all right so I originally was gonna do a clean our house with us video but we did not have enough time to clean our whole house so we are just doing our room our bathroom and downstairs in the living room area so we are starting off by cleaning off our dresser this is where i keep all of my athleisure and calvin keeps like his underwear and his like boxers and sweatpants and stuff and so we share those and then we each have our own closet and then we're just kind of like tag teaming everything he's like wiping things down and i'm taking care of the plants that are right here so i have 35 plants i know that's a lot but I love my plants so much and it just brings me so much joy to watch them grow and I just love it. So we take care of those plants that are right there and then I'm just going to clean off this mirror and then we're going to water the plants that are above Calvin's closet. So he jumps on our little ladder that we have and he waters those ones up there. I hand him one plant that we had in the bathroom that we had to um put into our rehab center so we had to like clean off the dead leaves and he just needed some extra sun so whenever our plants need more sun or like more something we take them into the bathroom anyway now we're just taking off our comforter and we're going to throw that baby in the wash and give it a good wash we don't need to wash our sheets because we just wash them i'm going to use some bleach and some oxyclean and then some laundry detergent to wash my pillowcases and my comforter. Heading into my cleaning supply closet, I'm going to grab my little caddy and I'm gonna fill it up with some things that I'm going to be using throughout this video. I ended up not even using a lot of the things that I put in here, but I didn't actually clean everything that I thought I was gonna clean, so I'll use it another day. All right, before I clean the bathroom, I wanna clean my side, which is my nightstand and my vanity. So I am just taking everything off of my nightstand and I'm just gonna give it a good wipe down with a microfiber towel. And I'm gonna put my lamp back I got these two little vases with the pompous at one of my friend's baby showers and I just thought they were so cute and they fit the vibe. And then I have this little picture of Stitch when he was a baby. All right, I know, it's really bad, but this is like a few weeks of clutter just accumulating and me not putting my makeup back where it's supposed to go when I'm doing my makeup and just a hot mess. Like I use it as a catch-all and Honestly, a lot of the stuff on there has a home in my drawers and I just left it out. So I had to clean everything off and make it look nice and clean. And then I gave my vanity a good wipe down. 
When I was cleaning my vanity, Calvin was folding our laundry and I was putting my laundry away kind of as I went as well. I'm so lucky to have him because he does my laundry. And I'm not going to lie to anybody and I'm very, very, very grateful for that because I really don't like doing laundry and he does it and he folds it for me and I love that for me. So thank you, babe. I'm just going to wipe this mirror down. And now moving on to the side of my vanity, I have some more plants right here. Surprise, surprise. So I'm just going to water those. And then I'm taking my duster and I'm just dusting the top of the ceiling. It gets really, really dusty up there. So I just like to take this little thing and give it a good wipe down. And then I am putting away my purses that I used and I'm also putting away some of the jackets that I need to hang up. Okay, moving on to this side of the room, we are going to be taking care of and watering these plants. Having all these plants is a huge responsibility, you guys. It takes a lot, a lot, a lot of patience and really actually like getting to know the plants and seeing when they need water, when they need to just be left alone and just kind of getting into a flow. I feel like it took me about six months to really get to know all my plants and have like a routine down. If you are a new like plant owner or you like want to start getting plants, I highly recommend to get a pothos. Those are the ones that are hanging right here. They are so easy to take care of. But honestly, like the smaller ones for me, for whatever reason, are harder to take care of than like the bigger, longer ones. I have no idea why. Like that little one on top that is just like a little solo and has like 10 leaves. I don't know why I feel like he's harder to take care of than these bigger ones that I have. And no, that one is not dead. He just needs love. Moving on to the bathroom. It's a little bit messy in here as well, but we're gonna get right to it. I'm gonna take care of these plants that are hanging on this shelf right here. As you can tell, I really like shelves, just like I really like plants. So I'm just going to water these and just take care of those. And then we're going to move on to this one, which is my Monstera Deliciosa. I'm obsessed with this plant, you guys. I got it at Home Depot for like $44 and she is just, oh, she's my baby. And she loves this spot in the bathroom because it's right there by the window. And yeah, she's just thriving. So. I'm going to sweep all the dirt off of the floor because a lot of dirt gets on our bathroom floor just because that's where I water most of my plants. And I'm just going to throw on some gloves so I can wipe down the bathroom. I start off with Calvin's side and I just remove everything and put it on my side and then I take the scrubbing bubbles, give it a little spray and then wipe it down with my Scotch-Brite sponge. All right, now moving on to my side, I'm going to take all of my things and put them on his side so I can wipe down my side. Now I'm going to spray the mirror and I'm going to wipe that down.
and then put everything else back on there and organize where it needs to be. After I finish cleaning everything, I like to light a little candle and just kind of get the vibes going. And then we can go downstairs and start cleaning down there. Okay, starting off with my most dreaded chore, cleaning my cat's litter box. So we have three cats and they all share an extra large litter box. I got this on Amazon. It looks like a plant. It's like, it's not cute, but you know, it's better than just having a litter box just like out in the open. And we keep our litter box downstairs because there's no room to have it upstairs. We don't really have any room in our hallway and it would just smell because there's no windows or like ventilation. So we keep it right there by the door. That's to our balcony. Um, usually we have it actually kind of like by the fireplace where our Christmas tree is, but obviously our Christmas tree is right there. So we had to move it right there because we have our dining room table right there. It's a mess. You know, having three cats is a lot of work. And honestly, I don't know how we do it sometimes, but we make it work. So while Calvin is vacuuming and sweeping, I'm just dusting the walls and then I'm going to wipe down the kitchen table. And then we vacuum the cat tree as much as we can so that the hair doesn't build up and it doesn't look all crusty and nasty. Like I said, we have three cats, so they shed a lot. Here's one of them. This is my baby Lilo. He's so cute. Look at him. Oh, my baby. And then this is Stitch. He doesn't like to be held like a baby, but he's always going to be my little baby. <laughs> and after we vacuum and sweep the floor, we take the Swiffer and we just wipe it down the floor. Now, after we clean under the couch, we're going to push it back. Clearly, our cats are unbothered <laughs> because they're used to this. So I'm taking the vacuum and I'm going to vacuum our couch because like I said, these cats shed like crazy. So we have to vacuum pretty much anything and everything that they touch. So here I am just vacuuming the couch while Calvin just finishes up sweeping and mopping the front of the living room. All right, so we got this rug at Ross. We wanted a rug for underneath the couch and the coffee table. We thought that it would just kind of pull the room together and honestly, it really did. I wish that this rug was a little bit bigger. I feel like it could have been like a foot wider, but that's okay. There's Stitch just checking it out. So we pulled the couch over it just to see how it looked and like i said i wish it was a little bit longer but it's fine it's gonna have to do for now because we're not gonna return it so we just adjusted it to fit the right size and then we put the coffee table back and now i'm just cleaning off the coffee table and i'm gonna give it a good wipe down And then I'm just wiping down the top of Lou's crate. Lou is our dog. Now I'm gonna light another candle down here. This is the mahogany teakwood candle from Bath and Body Works. This is one of my favorite candles ever. It smells so good. Now we're just going to put the pillows 
that we got from Ross on the couch and then we got this blanket at Target it was on sale or not on sale we got it for $15 because there was no tag on it and they just rang it up for $15 so it's really soft and we love it and our cats love it as well I'm really scared that our dog might pee on the carpet but he's old he's 15 and he just like can't control his bladder so i'm really really hoping that he doesn't pee on it but anyway i'm just wiping down our counter this is like the island between our kitchen and our living room and we have these little bar stools right here which is honestly where we eat most of the time and yeah so i'm just wiping this down And now I'm going to dust the TV center, entertainment center, is that what it's called? I don't know, but I'm going to wipe that down because it gets extremely dusty and hairy from the cats. Once again, these cats rule our lives and everything we do is because of them. We can have nice things because of them. They literally destroyed our Christmas tree, but that's a whole different story. I had to fix it and they are just, they're a lot, but I love them. I wouldn't trade them for the world, but damn, they're annoying sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to wipe this down. And then I'm also going to wipe down the picture frames that I have because they get a little bit dusty as well. And then I'm just going to put everything back. All right, and that is how the living room looks. I have to put the litter box back. Like I said, the litter box doesn't normally go there. And if we're gonna eat, we like put it on the balcony while we're eating because nobody's trying to be smelling cat shit. It's just really not a vibe. But you know what? They gotta go to the bathroom somewhere. So this is our litter box solution. Let me know in the comments what you do for your cats, okay? Okay, I got this cat tree at on chewy.com the table is from walmart the litter box is from amazon this little um, ladder thing is from home goods and the tv stand is from ikea and my best friend gave that to me for christmas it was a photo frame and i just stuck it on my wall okay moving on to the stairs this is the little cat hair remover thingy mabobber i got on amazon it was a three pack and it was worth every penny so if you have cats and you have carpet i highly highly recommend this look at how the hair is just literally coming off now i know this is disgusting because what the hell why do they shed so much and i wish i could tell you an answer but i really don't know they just do but yeah so i just literally wiped the stairs down and they looked so much better it was ridiculous how much cat hair there was on here and i'm not gonna lie we haven't done this in a few months so that's embarrassing but you know what we're all friends here right so you guys can um not judge me okay thank you all right so i'm just going to wipe this down that's how calvin did his side he did it like stair by stair and i just did it all at once so since we have so many stairs in this house this took us a while we just kind of tag teamed it and just try to make it go by as fast as we could because at this point it was like 1 30 in the morning and we were exhausted and then we went into the room and we saw indigo sitting on my vanity chair just straight chilling she's the only one who's allowed in our room because she's a good girl and she doesn't mess with things the other two not so much so calvin is just vacuuming our room and i just wanted to show you guys kind of how the final plant situation looks after everything is in its place and I'm just going to take my vanity chair down and just put that where it needs to go. Okay, now 
let's go to the dryer and get the comforter out so that we can make our bed. So we put the pillowcases back on our pillows. And then we're just going to tuck the top sheet into the bottom of the bed. Do you guys use the top sheet? Let me know in the comments if you use the top sheet because I feel like a lot of people don't. I used to not use it, but then I felt like, you know, I need to be like an adult and use it. I don't really, we don't sleep under it. We sleep on top of it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys use it and what your thoughts on top sheets are. So I am just taking my throw pillows and I am fluffing them and kind of like karate chopping the top so they have that little like indentation. I told you guys in another video, I got all of my pillows um, either at Marshall's in the clearance section or on Amazon. And then this one that says Meowy Christmas, I got it at Target. It is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. You can't even see it, but it says Meowy Christmas. So freaking cute. And this is how our bed looks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do more clean with me videos, let me know in the comments down below. And I got you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video.